Hey friends, Brian here, Space Game Junkie. Hello and welcome to the first of what will be several tutorial videos covering Starfleet 2 Krellen Commander 2.0. Now right now as I record this, we are in beta. So we shouldn't get any new features or anything. The features should be locked until we launch, but there are still some bugs to fix. Hopefully there won't be that any that show up in this video, but if there are, they will hopefully be fixed by the time uh, this uh, goes for sale on Steam and GOG. Now, uh, we're going to start today with the main screen. Now, this is where you will spend much of your time. And I know you'll look at this and you go, oh my God, there's a lot here. And there is a lot here. Um, but uh, don't worry, this will become very familiar in a short amount of time because there's a lot of information here, but it's very easy to digest. If I can do it, and I'm an idiot, anyone can do it. So you can get back to this screen from just about anywhere. Like say you're on the nav map, you know, and you need to get back here. You can hit the tilde key. Now, if you're in a menu like uh, messages, you know, whatever, uh, the tilde key might not work here. So you can just hit escape a few times to get back here. So tilde or escape are your big keys here. Now, before we get into the meat of this, there's a lot here and there are a lot of keys in this game. Thankfully, there are several ways to uh, find your way around. First, you have the um, list of keys here. Uh, these are pretty much all, there are a lot of shortcuts in this game, but every key is used and there are a lot of shortcuts, but you hit control H and this gives you all the shortcuts. Um, you can get to just about anywhere from here. Fleet command, nav, ma the map, uh, the nav map, the war map, uh, you know, the nav map, the war map. And we'll go through these other things in other tutorials. I just wanted to show you that there are several ways to move around in this game. Now, this is one of them. The next method is the command tree, which is control T. This lets you actually move through the command tree and go to where you want to go. Like, say you want to go to helm. Now you're in the helm control. Or say you want to go uh, to security status. You can go to security status. No captives on board. So that's another way to uh, move around the game. The final way to move around the get to to get information and help with the game is the ship information system. Control I will give you the ship information system and. We're still entering topics in here, so it's incomplete as we record this, but if you type something like, say you want to learn how to board a ship, you'll type in board, you'll get a, um, you'll get a, you know, a, te a bit of text here telling you how to uh, effectively board another ship, which will be covered in another tutorial. So now that you know how to move around this game, and as you can see on the bottom there, there are a lot of commands. But we're not going to worry about those right now. We're going to worry about, um, like, this screen. So the things I just showed you are another way to slowly introduce you to the game. But since this is going to be where you're spending most of your time, I want to show you real quick what everything is involved here. Okay? And I, I've never recorded tutorials before, so I don't know if I'm going to be good or bad at this. I'm going to try and cover everything. If I ha If I miss anything, if you have any questions... Don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I will try and do my best to answer your questions. I have at least a thousand hours in this game. I know it very, very well. Uh, so I could probably answer just about any question you have. And if I can, I know the guy who made the game, so he can. Now, uh, up here, we're going to start at the top and kind of move our way around. Uh, up here, these are your status lights. Status, status, however you say it. Uh, these should hopefully never turn red. You should, this, if, if anything, like one of these pops up, it'll turn red. And um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Sorry, my email program's going off. I shouldn't have done that. All right. So this is low power, low supplies. The power's here. Supplies are here. Low time. Each mission has a time limit, which is right here. Medical alert. Uh, that'll happen after you send after you send out an away team. Security alert if you have uh, enemies boarding you. Uh, my, you've entered a minefield. That's what this one's for. 
uh, there's a distress signal, or your hull has been penetrated. Now we're gonna go through all of these things. It, again, it's it's there's there's a lot of information here, but it's there's also not a lot of information here. So uh, this is the uh, this is uh, for enemy distress calls EDC. So if you get an enemy distress call, you can look up in the comms menu where that might be coming from. Um. So. Uh, if that's flashing, that means an enemy is sending a distress call, and that'll give you a clue as to where they are. Sometimes you got to find a ship, so they send out a distress call. You can find them by zeroing in on where that distress call is. This is your long-range sensor screen here. Uh, this is in a, uh, let's see, I believe it's 20 by 20. Yes, I believe it's, no, 40 by 40. Your, uh, each solar system is a grid of 80 by 80 distance units and your long range sensors uh, go 40 distance units. And so that's what this is. This is your long range sensors where you'll see planets, other ships, stars, star bases, that sort of thing. Uh, if they're within your long range sensors, if they're working, this is where you will see them. This right here will probably go, you know, around so this right here is your mission timer each mission has a certain amount of time and don't let that stress you because uh all you do is just you start again from scratch you don't lose any money you don't lose any uh all the experience is pretty much in your head so uh running out of time is not a big deal in this game and i say that as someone who hates games with time limits it's not a big deal in this game uh, this tells you how much time you've taken. This tells you how much time you have left. Now, this is a lot, but it's it'll, it'll become clear the more you play and uh, in further tutorials. So this is your regional location. This is where you are on this map. Uh, seven across, one up. So that's what that means. We are 7x, 1y. Uh, this is our position in the sector we are in right now, which is 23 across, 17 up. Right here. Uh, we're in a star base, so that's where that is. Right now, our course is set to 359. We haven't set a course. So uh, that is just kind of boilerplate right there. It'll change once you set a course. We'll cover navigation in another tutorial. Um, so don't. You don't have to stress too much about that. But when you set a course, um, either manually or through the through one of the maps or whatever, it'll show up here, as will your target, whether it's a planet or a point in space. Um, that'll show up here. Your distance to target will show up here, whether it's uh, whether it's in the system or intergalactically you know, between systems, uh, that you, this will be your distance to target. And this will show you your mode right here. So right now we're docked. So it's showing docked. This is our tactical display. This is our immediate vicinity right here. This shows you, uh, you know, your compass right here. It shows you everything within 10 distance units around you. Um, whether it's, Starbase or a planet or an enemy or whatever. Uh, it's all going to be around here. Um, so this is where all the close-up stuff happens. This is where you'll come up to planets when you're going to orbit them. This is where you're going to shoot at ships, where you're firing them. It'll all be shown here. Uh, right under that is um, a couple things. This is the uh, evasive maneuvers. You can engage in evasive maneuvers and it'll show up here. Why does it say SS? Because this is also the display for when you're sliding, uh, which we'll cover in another tutorial. But while you're moving, you can slide left or slide right, port or starboard. And when evasives are engaged, uh, this will also be engaged, as we will show you in another tutorial. This is the tractor beam status indicator right here. Again, you have your status, 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 which is docked. This is your velocity settings right here. 
This is where you set both sublight and hyperspace velocities. When you have something set, it'll show up here. Now, you can't set hyperspace velocity manually. That has to be done through the map, which we'll show you in another tutorial. But you can set subspace, sublight, um, excuse me, sublight uh, speeds manually. And so when you set it for up to 0.9, uh, example, that'll show up here. You know, so, and that changes to reflect, um, that changes to reflect your settings. Uh, this is your quick look at your damage indicator. Your hull indicator here uh, does change color the more damage you get. Uh, these all change color the more damage you get. This is your computer, sublight engines, hyperspeed engines, um, or hyperspace, short range sensors, long range sensors, shield control, torpedo control, phaser control, teleporters, communications control, tractor beam, and primary life support. Um, right under that, you have, these are your weapons. You have one bank of phasers and two torpedo tubes. And these could be set to automatic fire, which is why it says an A right there. Or they could be set to manual fire. And if you do that, they'll, that A, that lowercase A will change to an M. Uh, that'll be covered in another tutorial later as well. Uh, this is... This is usually used when you're bombarding a planet and you have it set to continuous mode. This will pop up uh, in continuous mode. Uh, now, this, this has two functions. As you can see right now, it's showing data. How many torps, how many crew, how many shock troops, your supply level, how many probes you have, obliterator pods. These will, these will be covered in, in uh, future tutorials. Your, how many escorts you have left right now? We don't have any. Um, but when you're in combat, it'll show this and this will show, uh, this will basically show all the enemies in the area, position, bearing, velocity, and which weapons are targeted to them, as well as how many torpedoes you have at a glance. Uh, but this show, this switches to this automatically when combat is engaged. Uh, but usually when you're not in combat, it'll show this data here, which is very important because you need crew and shock troops to board ships, land on planets, that sort of thing. So it's always good to keep an eye on your numbers here. Supplies is very important. You have to keep your crew well supplied or they will start dying and eventually mutiny. Yes, that can happen. Um, sensor probes are also very important. Uh, when you start, this will be five. I'm, I'm, you, for this tutorial, I loaded up my upgraded battle cruiser, which we'll talk about later. Uh, so you have eight sensor probes right now. When you start, it'll be five and five. Uh, obliterator pods, um, those can blow up planets. <laughs> They're fun. And yeah, eventually you will get escorts. You'll usually have four escorts. This will show you how many you have left because you will eventually start losing them. <laughs> don't, don't you worry. Uh, so, but right now, uh, in the mission I loaded up for this uh, tutorial, uh, we have zero. Right, right down here, we have a bunch of things. Um, <laughs> so here is kind of our log. Uh, so, brr, messages will be displayed here. Like right now, I just loaded up. We have no captives aboard, for example. Um, yeah, right now, crew morale is 100%, rest level is 100%, that sort of thing. So a lot of things will go by here, and this will be covered later in a later tutorial, but you can always look these things up in, um, in, the, lo in the log. So if something goes by... <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry. If something goes by quickly, you can always refer to it later in the log. Um, so that's this area here. And this will pop up in other screens as well. This log right here, this can be shown on maps and whatnot. Uh, but here it's persistent, right here. This is a bunch of different information. Um, a lot of times you won't deal with it too much. Uh, this is when you call for a supply ship, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. Uh, when you call for a supply ship, the distance from the supply ship to you will be shown here. Uh, when you have your ECM on to try and 
avoid torpedoes. This will light up. This is your ship performance data light. This will go on and off constantly as your ship is recording ship performance data. We'll cover that in another tutorial. This is your rest light. Um, the interesting thing about this game is time only moves. You see how the, our mission elapsed time up here hasn't moved? Um, that's because we're still. And when you're still, the mission elapsed time usually doesn't move. Sometimes you want that to move. And so you can hit rest mode, for example, and uh, rest mode will go on, and now you see time is moving again. You use the same button to turn that off. We'll cover that in another tutorial. Um, the combat message filter will be useful later in the game, um, mostly in ad when you're an admiral. Uh, you won't have to deal with it too much at the lower ranks, but as an admiral, that's something you can use to filter out some of the chaff you'll get from your fleet if you want to. I apologize, that's my phone. I didn't prepare this video very well. I should have, t I should have turned the sounds off of things. All right, and uh, this is your automatic shields um, light. So a lot of times when you engage an enemy ship, um, your shields will automatically turn on which makes sense. But sometimes you don't want them to turn on. Like you're tractoring a buddy and you're running away. You're trying to tractor a friend back to base. If, if the shields pop on when an enemy comes by, the tractor beam will, of course, get cut off. So sometimes you want to turn that off. And that's where that happens. Uh, finally, this is your energy usage right here. Um... Right now, we're, of course, barely using any because we're still in port. We haven't left, so we still have a bunch. We have, this is your backup right here, which if you're, if you're into your backup, you don't have long for this world. But it's there if you need it. But hopefully you'll, if you, hopefully you'll never have to dip into that. And when your shields are up, this, they will show up here. Uh, again, that'll be covered in a future tutorial when we uh, cover combat and everything. So that essentially is the main screen of this game. I liken it to like you're on the CIC of the Battlestar Galactica and you're looking down at a table, you know, to get a, get a, get a bird's eye view of what's going on in your area. This is basically that screen. This is all your most important information in one place. And again, this is where you will spend most of your time in Starfleet 2. Um, so that's going to do it for this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna, next going to cover navigation, something you'll be doing all the time. And, uh, and uh, we'll need uh, some further explanation. <laughs> uh, but if you have any questions about, about the game, either what we've covered here or anything else, or some, you have an idea for something to cover in a tutorial, I have a, I have a, already an outline of what I'm going to cover. Uh, but I might not have thought of something, you know? So if you have an idea of something you'd like to see, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Or if you have a further question, leave it in the comments. Uh, I want these tutorials to help make it as easy for you as possible to uh, approach this game. There's a, it's, it's, it's from 1989, so there's something of a learning curve. Uh, but if an idiot like me can get good at this game... Anyone can get good at this game. Keep that in mind. I am not that smart. So if I can, I just hit the microphone. If I can get good at this game, anyone can. So don't let this intimidate you. I know there's a lot here, but eventually the more you play, this will all become second nature and this will become like a second home to you right here. So thank you for watching this first tutorial, um, covering the main screen and a few uh, training and teach a few training tools, well, maybe not training tools, but a few tools that'll help you move around the game more easily. Um, uh, f future uh, tutorials will cover navigation, teleporting, combat, uh, how to use the computer, how to command escorts, how to invade. Uh, there's a lot to this game, and I have at least... 12 tutorials planned out <laughs> to cover everything. Uh, hopefully I cover everything. But again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And I cannot wait to get this game into your hands, everybody. 
I love this game so much. It has become my favorite game of all time. There's just so much wonderful to it. And hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I do uh, once you get your hands on it. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.